Hi Aquarius. Welcome to your estranged reading for April 20th through May 19th. This reading takes a look at somebody you are estranged from and asks the questions, will they reach out? How do they feel about reaching out? That sort of thing. Because it has that will they reach out specifically in the reading, I have made mention of Tyler at Tyler's Tarot because he does a reading specifically titled, Will They Reach Out? So credit where credit is due. Um, also check him out if you give a chance. I just want to be on the up and up. Um, and you know, I mean, everybody has their own spreads and does their own, I get it. But I just, I, there's a lot of people that do how do they feel like you can Google it, it's easier. <laughs> there's a lot, too many to name. Um, but to my knowledge, I don't look around that much, but to my knowledge, he does a reading specifically titled that. So that's why I mention him. As far as the uh, recommend a reader shout out, that goes to Piper's Dragon Tarot. Hello. Piper's Dragons Tarot. Piper's Dragon Tarot. There you go. Piper's Tarot Dragon. No. Uh, I, yeah, I have her information down below also in the description box. So check her out. Give her some love. You might like what she has to say. All right, Aquarius, thank you. I haven't done an intro like that in a long time. It's quite long. <laughs> now let's get to your reading. All right, Aquarius, estranged. Aquarius. Aquarius. Page of Cups. So, uh, every time I forget to do this. Bottom of the deck energy is I'm attributing to them and what they're thinking about, their mood, uh, how they feel, that sort of thing. And this would suggest, one that they're thinking of beginning communication again, kind of firing a shot off the bow. Not necessarily hostile because we got somebody in their feelings here, but it could also be that they're thinking this relationship never had a chance because somebody might not have been emotionally ready, whether it be you or them. But um, this, this most likely is a affectionate message, thinking of reestablishing con contact, you never being far from their thoughts quite possibly. All right. So we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Moon card, the Fool, Eight of Pentacles, Strength, the Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Three Eights. Are you seeing that? One, two, three. Good gracious. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Interesting. So we've got, we could have Sag here, we could have Leo, Pisces or Cancer. And just know that the moon features prominently in this card too, that's kind of telling. Uh, this could be Aquarius. What else we got here? All right, looks like that's it, okay. Three eights. One, two, three. Three eights. What is this here? This is a nine. Okay, so nine to eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good gracious. Zero. Nine. Okay, so three eights. Don't see that every day. Marriage. Marriage. All right. Three eights. Marriage. Very interesting. This is somebody that's been very connected to you or the idea of you, quite possibly, for, you know, I mean, we got marriage here. Somebody's either stuck on how they feel, you know, stuck on how they feel. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think it's that. I think we're talking about legit marriage here. Interesting. Okay. They're still thinking about if they want to reach out or not. They're, they're wondering, all right, should, because they, they're in their feelings, right? This is someone beginning to come alive again emotionally or never has left. Maybe, you know, the fire's gone down to an ember, but you're still on their mind and they're thinking, maybe I should reach out. Um, but it's the inklings, it's the beginning stages of it. And they're kind of, there's a lot of unanswered questions. They're still kind of struggling with this ending or not talking to you, you two not being in each other's life. And they're, they either you have walked away or they have walked away, but they are still wondering if it was the right decision. There's a lot of unanswered questions and they haven't been able to quit thinking about you. Um, I think they are trying to work through their feelings for you and figure out what happened. Okay, we got the moon and the eight of pentacles here. I, but I also think that they 
want to know if you'd be amenable to working on things but again they are weighing the pros and cons before they reach out to you i feel like they want to have a game plan in place before they do that and they are leaving things open-ended they i don't this is a to be continued card so between this this and this and then this it looks like they're still there it's not over for them it, it's not over um i think they might have things that think that things got cut off or ended unexpectedly and they that maybe things did that because you prioritize work over dating them or being with them i also think that they want to work on that with you so there's a double they might have thought that you were more interested in kind of um your career and didn't really have time for them like either being a student or your career didn't really have time for them but i also think they still want to try and work things out not so much work on that with you but work things out um hmm they, it looks like they're they're Honestly, it looks like they want to try again. It looks like this is someone that just, they're not not—they're not able to accept the ending. And I think they want to try again. This is painfully walking away from something because you have no choice to do so. But that would be, in this case, because of the situation. And it could be because work was taking precedence for somebody. But they still, they there's just not over. They've been giving you, um, in their mind, compassionate distance. They've been letting things lie. They've been kind of giving you your space. That's how they see it, right? And they, I think they're waiting and they want that uh, new beginning with you. I think they want to take that leap of faith. I think they want to, you know, have a, a new, like a fresh, clean slate. Well, that was then. Now we can, um, now that things are different, I've come full circle. I, there's, you know, you bewitch me. There's something about you I can't quite quit and I'm ready to, try again but they're holding they're they're holding themselves in reserve they're holding themselves back um they don't want it to be wishful thinking they also don't want to be there there's they might be questioning if there's been sort of deceit or if they've been deluding themselves about how you feel about them there's something they like i said they have a lot of questions but i do think they feel like the relationship ended too early i think they definitely think you're somebody that they could move forward with like you know as a strong foundation like they probably thought they had something really strong with you that again ended too early quite possibly unexpectedly so because you were having to prioritize other things so they're giving space right now they're kind of holding themselves back themselves back from reaching out to you but um they do want to reach out they just they're working up the courage to do so it's if it's not going to happen it's it's not it's not going to happen soon um at least not inside of three months because they're still processing the ending even though they feel very strongly about you they also are trying to figure out how to approach you about that and weighing the pros and cons are they ready for this what do they want are you ready for this the potential for them is there but they it's, i'm surprised this is not the hermit because i keep coming back to this kind of confusion and like you know is it going to be worth it for me am i just is this just wishful thinking on my part type of thing you know all right so i don't need to clarify i think i kind of I, I got this so um let's just do this then aquarius what would aquarius's person say to them it's funny because it feels like you both kind of feel the same about each other but they're they're really trying to do the right thing and give it but they they do want to approach you again they but something they want to forget the past they want this new beginning take a leap of faith let's try again let's clean the slate you know what let's let's have a do-over that type of thing because you have not they've not stopped thinking about you something unexpected happened to end things though could be Aquarius that they're you know they're concentrating on their career I mean this is the worker card here so it could be that this that's why it's like well things had to end for now because they're prioritizing their work and maybe their work is really taken off and there's you know so it's like but that maybe there maybe this is a long distance relationship and they're thinking of moving towards you you know like like uh, making a move to where they're more logistically uh, desirable <laughs> 
Um, this would also, I mean, this is about distance right here, maintaining distance. So this could be the distances involved and that's why it had to end because someone had to prioritize their day-to-day -day life. But it's not over till it's over. And I think you both are, might be kind of holding out for, you know, maybe in the future we could try again. All right, what would Aquarius's person say to them? What would Aquarius's person say to them? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. What else would Aquarius's person say to them? So we've, this person has obviously had time to reflect <laughs> or is reflecting. It's not over. What would Aquarius's person say to them? You know, and it could be too, we got the Knight of Swords here. I don't know how I feel anymore because that, that would epitomize this right here. Seriously, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action and I don't know how I feel anymore. This, it, this card would be for Aquarius, that's you. So maybe they did something to you um, that was brash, that wasn't well thought out, they reacted, they're hot headed, they're making, maybe there's a lot of stress in their life and they just kind of make quick cuts and say cutting things and cut things off and And it's because there's so much going on right now. And they've got a lot, maybe there's a lot on their shoulders, they're, maybe they're trying really concentrating on work. So it could be that they've had a chance to think about what they said or done and they're like, okay, I get it, I'm sorry, but they're still kind of, whoopsie, all right? They're still kind of working out how to approach you. They're still thinking about, because they've got two things going on. They've got reapproaching you uh, in this case, and then they've got their future. They're probably working, they're working on quite a lot of things here because this is eight, it's almost a 10. This is a culmination. Whatever they're working on is taking precedent because it's about their security for the future. So, oops, this is right here, sorry. Um, for I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action. That's this right here, seriously. And as far as I don't know how I feel anymore, yeah, you know why? Because they're exhausted. This right here and this, and then, I mean, and, and trying to, to start anew or trying to get things off the ground for themselves that they're, whatever they're working on, there's a lot going on and so i could see like honestly you both taking the time and you you're listen to me you're um this could see i'm juxtaposing again i'm starting to it's starting to bleed together for me he's like whoa wait no who's doing what here anyway this is about self-preservation so that you and this person or both of you could be kind of you know we're, we're keeping to ourselves out of self-preservation we're giving distance here you know we're trying to just keep things we're just kind of letting go and letting each to our own situations right now to deal with things but yeah you're not uh they haven't stopped thinking about you and i think aquarius your person just has a lot going on see i do the reading and then all of a sudden i start to bleed into it. it's like what did wait wait who's wait who's doing what now hold on a minute so yeah um and it could be too though that i think they they might think too that you are prioritizing work and that you cut them off, that you're not making any room for them. But I also feel like they're doing a lot on their end too. I, I, seriously, like I feel like you both have a lot going on or there wouldn't be the need for this. Both of you bringing things back into balance. This is not balanced. So, you know, very often it's like you find that Two people, you know, going through kind of estrangement. When I, it's like, well, they both have invariably the same opinion of each other. Like, I, well, they have the same issues with the other person as the other person. But it's, it's, it's come about differently. Like, you know, you're to this or you're to that. And it's like, you two could say the same things about each other. But one person sees it this way. Like, well, you prioritize work. And the other one's like, well, you pr prioritize your hobbies or whatever. And either way, there's neglect that both of you are feeling and you're hurt from. Do you know what I mean? All right. I want to do this one first. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. This also, this could be you still, because it's, it's, I feel like the situation is mirror. You both have the same opinion of, you both feel the same about each other. We got this. I keep coming back to this now. This could be Sagittarius. Um, this could be Sagittarius. This could be Aquarius. I mean, it, you two have been showing up a lot in each other's readings. I'm just saying. But, and then we got Pisces or Cancer right here. We got Leo right here. I feel like this is, um, both of you are feeling the same things about each other, thinking the same things. We got balance here and things need to be brought back into balance for the both of you. But I, I think 
there's still a desire to be with each other. Even though it's like, you know, I'm still kind of curious about how this person feels about me. I just, I don't know. I, I feel like they've got a lot going on and got a lot going on. All right, Aquarius. 12 and 14. 12 and 14. <laughs> the birds and the fox. Okay. All right. So the birds, this is conversations, multiple, like a lot of like busyness. The fact that it's owls would suggest it needs to be wise conversation, perhaps wise counsel. This could be somebody, you know, that, um, Maybe they, they're wanting to go talk to somebody about all that's going on. There's a lot of busyness. This could, in extreme cases, this could be anxiety because it's just that busy, 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 back and forth. A lot of things happening at once. However, the, the birds and the fox. So this is saying be careful. To, oh, here she comes. Yep, there she is. All right. Um, this could be saying be careful. Make wise decisions because mischief is afoot, if not outright deception and betrayal. However... This is a lot of busyness and conversations and incoming information and even networking. Honestly, this could be networking and this could be somebody's career. So both of you might be, remember I said it's starting to get blurry and starting to juxtapose the worker card. This could be about both of you prioritizing work right now and that's why there had to be this compassionate distance because you both got stuff to take care of and prioritize. Okay, so this could be a lot of networking regarding the career. So somebody's career might very well be about to take off. Okay, we got thing, you know, rapid trajectory there. And that's that's what's taking precedent now. And so that's might be why both of you might be in lockdown mode. And it's still a mystery as far as what's gonna happen. We got two cards of mystery here. Don't know what's gonna happen. Things might have ended and been cut off early because we just gotta give our full attention to our jobs or our careers. I don't think this is deception, like be wise because there's deception afoot. I think you two are very aware of how you feel about each other, but I do think that you need to prioritize your work right now. Um, your, your partner definitely feels like they do, but you feel more set, settled and stable than they do. I think they're working on something. Um, I think there's just a lot of busyness around them. Things are working, 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 working. Or they're working, working. So this, but this is... Um, career. It doesn't have to be deception. Employment. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe this is a lot of networking, trying to find new employment, trying to start up a new career. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they're dice. They're legit. Okay. Just want to make, I'm not, you know, reaching in a bag of, you know, guts or something. All right. Aquarius. Oh, sorry, it was like this, like that. I always turn it, but you know what, it was like this, so it's like that might as well just, okay. Now, if it's like this, I turn it this way, so that one is reversed. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, seven. We've got the seven of coins, so that's what this is right there, doubling down on that seven of coins. Um, again, deliberating about your future, weighing the pros and cons, and this is about, uh, that's the tower reversed. That's about being released from bondage or starting to rebuild the the dust settling being able to see things for what they are being able to move forward or rebuild or get some sense of things after the cataclysmic event has happened so after some kind of major cutting off or major unexpected event um the dust is settling now and now they're in review after this ending has happened sometimes it, it can be about fear of change not moving on that but i think for this reading i mean we've got somebody really thinking about okay the worst is over it's happened now what now can we rebuild i mean they're so they're wondering can we come back from this can we rebuild can we move on from this i don't think this is about fear of letting go i mean you, both of you are lingering for each other but i feel like this is somebody going all right what's possible Okay, all right. Thank you for stopping by Aquarius. That was a long one. I was going, going, going. Uh, if you did stay this long, I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next reading and I hope this works out for you. Honestly, like I, I, 
This is like a long time coming because I feel like this situation keeps circling around for you. That there's something between you and this person where you just can't be together right now. And it's probably distance and then we got work on top of it. Okay. All right. Um, thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.